The Chicago business scene is as diverse as the city itself, but we don't always hear from the entrepreneurs who keep the Chicago economy colorful. That's where I come in. I'm Mikai Brown, and this is the Minority Report. If there's one thing Krishan Lampley loves, it's wine. That's why she decided to call her startup wine label Love Corkscrew. But it takes more than just passion to get a business off the ground, especially in such a crowded field. I met up with her at Madison Vine Wines to talk about those challenges, what she's learned along the way, and her biggest fear, which isn't what you think. We are at Madison Vine Wines, one of the many places where you can go and buy one of your bottles of wine. Yes. Right now, we are drinking Head Over Heels. Yes. So does this mean that if I give a man a glass of this wine, he'll be head over heels for Absolutely. me? Absolutely. Is that what? Is and that really what it means? Absolutely, that's what it means. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and that's just so fun. I have so many catchy phrases on, on our bottles that uh, it becomes something that people never forget. Anytime I go to any store, there's tons of wine. Absolutely. What sets Love Corkscrew apart from everyone else? Not only are we a woman-owned company based out of Chicago um, that have wine, which is actually almost unheard of, uh, we are one of the only private labels that exist um, that are owned by women. So it, it's an amazing, amazing thing that we've done. Um, but above and beyond that, the labels alone. Uh, when you're at a space and, and you walk in, you see Love Corkscrew from a mile away. It, it's amazing. Um, not only are we local, but we support local vineyards, and I think that's huge. Uh, a lot of There's times, vineyards in Chicago. Yes, there is we over, can grow grapes in this weather. There is over 60 vineyards in the Illinois area that people don't even know that exist. Wow. Uh, so not only do we support Illinois we support Michigan so we're a huge Midwest supporter so those are the two things that stick out definitely local owned uh, and local vineyards as well. How do you not go about having an unhealthy relationship with wine i.e. meaning how are you not an alcoholic with all this great wine because this tastes really good. That is an amazing <laughs> You know what, it, it's just about, it, it's more to the business than people think. A lot of people think, okay, because you're a vintner and you own a wine company, you just go around and drink wine all day long. No, there, there's a lot of other things that come with it from uh, building relationships and, and marketing and, and different events that I have to, you know, to be on at all times. I have to talk at events. Um, I definitely uh, do a little wine tasting education, so I can't just sit and drink, unfortunately, wine all day. I, I do have to talk to clients and I do have to keep a, a level mind, but uh, but I do love our wine, so I understand why you asked that. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be challenging, not only being an African American, but being a female in such a highly male-dominated field. Yes. Tell me about some of the adversities that you faced and how did you overcome them? It's uh, being taken seriously. Uh, a lot of times I'll walk into either different establishments um, or be part of different events that they say, oh, so you're the promotional uh, woman for the, the wine company. So no, actually I own it. Um, so it's definitely uh, very hard to be taken seriously, but I think it's one of those things I'm very A-type, um, as probably you guys can see right now, um, that when I open my mouth, they, they listen. Um, it's one of those things where it, they have to know that you're serious, they have to know that you know what you're talking about. And, uh, and it's difficult, but at the same time, I enjoy the challenge. Challenge. So uh, I'm having a great time with it. For those out there that are just as enthused about wine as you are, can you tell us how would someone with no budget and no experience get started with starting a label similar to Love Corks Girl? I would say good luck. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, where the problem would be is no experience. Uh, you definitely have to, to go hands-on in the industry. I've been in the industry on many different levels. Um, not only did I own a bar, but I used to work on the distribution side. So I actually had uh, one of the largest sales territories in the state of Illinois. So I knew my clients. I knew um, about the wine industry. So I would say definitely do some research. I would say definitely get into the business, whether it's bartend at a place, uh, whether it, it's uh, a work at, at a wine shop. Get to know the industry because it's one of the toughest industries you can get into. Um, really? It's, it's extremely tough. I, I always call it like one of those those mobster type, uh, <laughs> type industries where once you're in, you're in but it's hard getting your, your foot in the door because you have to get people to trust you. Uh, I had to get vineyards to trust me. Um, I had to say that I know it's gonna work. So that's not an easy thing to do. So I would definitely say follow your passion. If you just like wine, doesn't mean you should own a wine company. Um, it has, you have to be very passionate about it. So I, I would say rethink that 
and maybe uh, focus on something that's truly your passion. Tell me about where the heck did this fear of clowns come from? And why are you so afraid of them? Uh, it's funny, it's just a weird thing. I, I'm one of those, maybe because I'm always in control, I don't like surprises that much, unless they're romantic surprises. I don't like surprises. So clowns always, they used to always shoot things. Like there's always something coming out of somewhere, confetti and things like that. And, and I'm just not, I, I need to know what's happening at all times. <laughs> and then of course I just have nightmares of just a whole bunch of clowns being all in a room. And they're, they're, they're actually probably, I don't know, they're, they're, they're dolls, but they're coming after me. I, I, just, I can't. <laughs> I, I just don't want to be surprised. It's too, the lips are really wide and weird and red, and I'm not a fan of red lips. It's just a lot going on. So no, <laughs> so no clowns. Kidding. No clowns. But we can have red wine. Yes. Yes. Actually, that's my favorite. So absolutely. <laughs>